This is a tutorial for a pants over vest suture. First to emphasize why we do a pants over vest, here we're going to take two sides of a tissue and attempt to uh, reapproximate them with a simple suture. And you'll see what happens is we've built in an area of uh, over lengthening in this so called ligament here that we're suturing and when we suture with a simple suture our ends come together but we still do not have a shortening of the ligament and the goal of the pants over vest suture is to actually um, have some overlap and decrease attenuation of the ligament this is used for a few different things um, and here you can see the correctly tightened ligament that's what our goal is um, so what we do first is we section our ligament and then we're going to throw four throws here the first one is superficial to deep on side A then moving to side B we're going to throw it the same direction superficial to deep and that's on side B and now we're going to remain on side B and again uh, change our orientation here and, and this time we're going to throw deep to superficial and we're going to perform the same throw on side A now deep to superficial what we end up with is four throws and they're all parallel to the incision that we've made and when we tighten them we can see that the side on the left side of the screen will actually overlap above the side on the right side of the screen and what this will do will be to tighten um, a ligament or some other structure that you're suturing together. This is commonly used for repairs of the um, planter plate if you're doing a direct planter approach. It's also used for a brostrum and a brostrum gold for ATFL repair and it's also used for uh, repair of the superior perineal retinaculum. Now for doing this repair for something like a planter plate or an ATFL uh, when we throw these if we tie the first throw that will give us poor visualization for the second throws so what we would do is we would throw each individual suture and then uh, wait till the end so we can throw each stitch and then we would tie them all at the same time so that's what we've done here we've thrown our first one we've got a second uh, piece of suture and now we've thrown our second pants over vest suture so we have both lined up when we pull that down we see the overlap of the left side over the right side and now we're going to individually tie each um, suture here with hand ties. And now the suture we're using here is O ethabond on a controlled release or on a pop off so that we can remove our needle and perform our hand ties. So we've thrown our hand ties, we cut our sutures to just above the knot and we have completed our pants over vest sutures. And you can see the overlap here of the sides. Now this was done um, with four individual throws. This could also be done um, with three throws. So if we again start on the left, our superficial to deep, but now on the next side, instead of throwing two individual throws, we simply throw one throw through that side. We can remove one step of this process. And again, we have the same result here. We could turn this into a one-step process if we have all of our structures directly visual visualized. We could theoretically throw this in one throw of the needle. The problem here you can see is that my needle is too large to get close at position of those throws. But we do end up with the same result. And that's our pants over vest. Thank you.